Live from the Bethel, Air, uh, Bethel Acres area right now with more. Heather? Hey, Kelly, and like you said, the Bethel Echoes area definitely hit hard by the tornado on Sunday. I'll just like you take a look at just some of the damage and destruction left behind from the tornado. Here is the property, what used to be a home, and all you really see left standing is a concrete storm shelter right there in the middle. And you have uh, some tractors here trying to pick up the debris and move it to the side. And we talk with the homeowner here. His name is Jason True, and what he tells us is that at random you have these tractors here and people that showed up total strangers to really help him pick up the pieces and Jason we can um, ask you about what's going on today. What's this whole cleanup removal process? Here we are days later, but you're still stuck trying to pick up the pieces. Yeah, we went this morning and uh, picked up a uh, skid steer from locally. Just come out with a few family and friends get started and then before a few hours went by then we had a whole church show up and that brought another 20 people and some of them were from California I hear and, and farmers from down the street. Before I knew it, you know, we had you know, in the 30 people range, and, and then they knocked out most of my five acres before I knew it, and you know, I never had this much help this quick. So. Wow, that's definitely impressive. I mean, to have that kind of help, like he's saying, showed up at total random today, and then coming up later at 6, we'll talk to some of those volunteers just to show up what was the inspiration for them coming as far as California, as he's saying, to show up right here at random at this location on Walker Road, just near the Shawnee Reservoir, just to really check in here and help out with all their cleanup efforts. So for now, reporting live in Bethel Acres, Heather Hope, News 9. Yeah, the outreach has been amazing, Heather. Thank